at the 70 year moment mark. But I want to just tell you where we are. We are, that's the time. The place where we are is significant because on this side, as you're with, this is the Mount of Olives, Garden of 70 Mount of Olives, where Messiah is going to return. So very significant. And this in back of me, where we are, we're, before I was at the Western Wall, this is the Eastern Wall, which you, which most people never come here, yet it's even more significant. This is the Eastern Wall. This is the Eastern Gate, the Golden Gate, which has been blocked up, but Messiah is going to come through it from the Mount of Olives through there. This is where he will reign. So this is the prophetic place right here. Um, and it represents the hope of all things. And Israel has come back. You know, Messiah said that that you would not see me again until you say Baruch Haba, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So the Jewish people had to come back to Israel, come back to Jerusalem and come back to this place so that he is going to reign from this place. So we're going to pray for the kingdom and and, uh, and the coming of that of that day. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. It is the exact 70 year mark of the nation of Israel in existence. And we're going to pray. Lord, we ask for your kingdom to come. Lord, we ask for the hope of Israel to be fulfilled. Lord, we ask for the coming of Messiah to his ancient people and that they would turn to him and Lord, that their veil would be lifted up and they would behold their hope, their Messiah in Yeshua. Lord, we ask for the kingdom of God to come upon this earth. Lord, you to reign. Lord, your will to be done. Lord, we ask that you would come to the Mount of Olives and reign, Lord, on this mount. Lord, we ask for your salvation to go to the ends of the earth. Lord, that you, the knowledge of you would cover the earth, Lord, and your name would be one. And Lord, we pray for all nations to come in Lord, to salvation. We pray for the Lord that Jerusalem would again be a glory to you in every way. And Lord, we ask now your blessing, your ancient blessing to be upon this land of Israel and your prophetic purposes for this land and this city and this mountain be fulfilled. And now the ironic blessing. The Lord bless you and pray with me as a prayer. The Lord bless you, Israel, and keep you. The Lord bless you with all the blessings of salvation, the blessings of Messiah, the blessings of redemption, all the blessings that you've been waiting for and that are there in Messiah. And the Lord keep you, that keep you, preserve you, Israel, defend and protect you, Israel, to that day. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you, Israel, in the face of Messiah, that, that his presence would be restored to this land and to his ancient people and they would see him face to face and know him each know him and the Lord cause his grace to be upon you be gracious to you the grace of God his forgiveness his mercy his tender love his healing his wholeness all be upon you Israel the Lord Lift up the glory of his countenance upon you, Israel, that the, the glory of the Lord would again shine in this land. The glory that once lit up the temple would again come to this land. And Israel and Jerusalem would be a glory and a praise and a shining torch of salvation, a light to the world. And the Lord give you shalom, life, Israel, fullness, peace that you've longed for, salvation, wholeness, restoration, redemption, all the blessings of his love be upon you in the name of Messiah, who is your hope, the name of Yeshua, salvation, now and always. And now I'm going to do it in the original language. 
to all of you who have partaken in this. The Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the glory of his countenance upon your life and the Lord give you shalom, life, fullness, and peace. B'Shem Yeshua, in the name of Messiah, Jesus, Or HaOlam, the light of the world, Uchvod Yisrael, the Ari Yehuda, and the lion of the tribe of Judah who is coming. This is Jonathan Kahn from Jerusalem saying God bless you and Shalom. This is the blessing that God himself wrote the words to. It's, it's a, there's a power in it. He said when you do this, you will place my name upon them. And this was given to the sons of Aaron. That's the house I'm from, so it's my blessing to give it to you. Who It was given to God's people. You are the people of God, and God's will is to bless you. So here in the language of the Bible, the blessing. Mm -hmm. child of God and keep you in all your ways the Lord God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob lift up the glory of his countenance lift up and cause his face to shine upon your life you the servant of God and give you grace poured out from heaven the Lord God of heaven and earth the eternal ancient of days, the I am, the Lord God calls to rise upon your life, the glory of his countenance, upon your home, upon your life, upon your heart, upon your ministry, upon every work of your hands, and the Lord give to you shalom, life, fullness, peace, victory, anointing, all the blessings of his love, B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus, 
the Messiah, the name above all names, Or HaOlam, the light of the world, Uchvod Yisrael, the glory of Israel, the Melech HaMalchim, and the King of all kings. Amen and amen. 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 Praise God you. bless you. God. Praise God. God bless you guys. Love you. Thank you all for being. Thank you, Rabbi, for being.